it's a little bit later on uh, Saturday afternoon. It's just around 6 o'clock. I mean, Sunday afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon after all, not Saturday. And it is just around 6 o'clock. And I've got a couple more whiskeys that I want to taste. I want to try now. These are some that have uh, been heavily and highly recommended. And they have been... Um, they have been um, reviewed by other people already. That's okay. I just want to give you my take on them. This one right here is the uh, Benriach Bernie Moss. This one is highly endorsed by our friend Swami Suave, malted in Montreal. It's uh, 70 centiliters at 46 48 48 percent alcohol by volume so it should have a lot of flavor this has been sitting on my shelf for about three months the minute i buy it it was the fourth of june july august september three months ago fourth of june and i've had it all that time and i have not tasted it this is what the bottle looks like and I'm going to crack it open soon. But first, I'm going to read what's on here. It says, uh, Ben Riech peated single malt scotch whiskey from the heart of Speyside. Bernie Moss is an area of windswept moorland situated close to Ben Riech distillery. And it is this wild place that gives our single malt its name. From its location in the heart of Scotland's historic whiskey producing region, the distillery has created this intense and complex whiskey which can proudly boast the prefix Speyside. This fine single malt is the first bespoke whiskey to be delivered from the Benriach distillery under its current stewardship and it heralds a new chapter in production. An audacious first under the guidance and enthusiasm of the distillery's new owners, Bernie Moss is a whiskey bursting with originality, different in style from the Speyside malt. This unique expression wields its peaty, smoky character with a precocious rigor. Nose, color, and taste, we don't care. Billy Walker, Master Distiller, Ben Riech Distillery Company Limited, uh, What does it say here? From the heart of Speyside. Non-chill filtered natural color. Well, those are good things. No age statement, but if it's good, who cares what the age statement is, right? That's what I say. If it's good, who cares? It cost me a grand total. Okay, $82.99, which is not too terrible. Plus, of course, 10% liquor tax, so $8.30. So we're talking about $90.30 now. And 5% GST, so $4.15. So what did we say? Ninety-five bucks out the door, maybe a little more than that, but we're not going to count pennies because pennies are obsolete in Canada anyway. They round down and round down to the, round up and round down to the nearest five cents. Um, yeah, just under a hundred dollars Canadian, that is. And everything else on this particular bill has been. I made videos of them already, so that can go. This here will join its place up on the wall there. There's a couple of empty, empty spots right about uh, uh, can I do this? Right above there. Above, above, up there. There's a couple empty spots. That's where it's going. Okay. Van Ria, Bernie Moss. 48% alcohol by volume. I've had a few drums already. You can probably guess by my 
or the way I'm speaking, that I have not, that I have uh, had a good time so far. Gentle little poppage, a real cork, which is always good because if one, if it's one of those composite corks that's mostly glue, sometimes they fall apart. I had that happen to me once last week. Well, it makes absolutely the right sounds. It's 48% alcohol by volume, so it's a strong one. Okay. Let's give it a little nosing. Oh! This is rather nice. I'm getting right away bonfire smoke. It's not very dark, so it's natural color, natural filtered. It's not very old either. It's it's rather pale, but who cares? Color is not a means by which I gauge a whiskey anyway. It hasn't ever been really and it never really will be. I get once again that beautiful bonds of fire smoke. I'm also getting some some caramel and toffee notes. It says intensely peated here on the bottle. I'll show you the bottle again. See if you can read that. Intensely peated. And uh, on the back of the label it says the same thing as it does in the um, on the box. And there's like a recycling and uh, no pregnancy but they didn't put a no car on there, which they should have done. <laughs> there should be a no car on there, but there's just a no pregnancy. So don't give this, don't don't be pregnant when you, or this won't make you pregnant. That's right. Ah, bonfire smoke. Also getting, did I mention some toffee? Not much in the way of fruits. Uh, a little bit. A little bit of citrus, which seems to go hand in hand with the uh, with the smoke of a peated whiskey. Yeah, smoke and citrus, lemony, lemony. Let's give it a taste, and then what we'll do is we'll try and... Oh, it even has the date. 2015, 06, 18. So, um, the 18th of June, 2015 is when this was bottled. At 11.07 p.m. Or a.m., I guess. 11.07. That's nice. I like to see transparency on the bottle. Mmm. Okay. Let's uh, taste it. Neat. At 48%, it's a little bit hot.
I'm getting the peat. I'm getting some citrus. And I really can't taste much else. I'm going to add just a bit of water. See what happens to it. It's uh, it's alcohol, alcohol forward. It's it's. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's acting as an anesthetic, but I can I can taste alcohol. So far, I'm tasting citrus, citrus, lemon, orange, grapefruit maybe pineapple, that kind of thing. No spice of any kind. Uh, let's see now. On the nose I'm still getting bonfire of peat smoke but now it's a little bit tamer no alcohol burn at all anymore I think I've had three or four standard drops of water in there whatever a standard drop of water is uh, the smoke has died down somewhat <clears throat> excuse me I've been sipping on drams all afternoon, so there you go. I don't think this one takes water very well. Once again, ashy bonfire smoke, a little bit sweet, with citrus, lemon, orange, um, What do they call those little oranges? Mandarins? Mandarins. But really, let's give it a tiny little bit more water, see if we can get any complexity out of it. All I'm getting is smoke and, f smoke and citrus. I don't know. Smoke and citrus. Is it worth the 90 bucks? I don't know. Because all I'm getting is bonfire smoke on the nose. Citrus on the nose. A lot of citrus this week. I had that with the Ardmores. All citrus, not much else. And here, the ash and peat smoke. I've brought it down to about 42%, I think. The smoke isn't so much there. The citrus is there, but not as much as it was.
I don't know what to make of this yet. It's strong. It's intense. Smoke and citrus. Mostly citrus. A little more water. That would probably not do much to it. It's already had a bunch of water put in there. And all I'm getting is smoke and citrus. Now it smells like watered down smoke and citrus. Not a lot of complexity here. I'm just getting smoky ash or ashen smoke and citrus. Nothing else. That's all I'm getting now. Maybe some other flavors will develop as it goes down the bottle. So far it doesn't impress me. We'll see, you know, with time. With time the Ben Riach Burning Moss might get better. But so far, I can get much better tasting um, peated whiskey for the same money. Peated whiskey that has more complexity. So, so far, well, we'll see if it gets better later on. It, it might surprise me, but right now, meh. On that note, Slancha. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>